We've developed a custom-built virtual reality training environment as a future of work technology for our field workers. This scenario uses the actual procedure for venting the pipeline before maintenance can be carried out on a ruptured line. We chose this particular scenario due to the high risk inherent in venting high pressure pipelines. That being said, virtualizing this process removes all risk to our people and assets at next to no cost to the business. All pipework and other components at the TCOFI mainline valve site were modeled using point cloud scanning technology and as-built dimensions to make a true-to-life replication in a virtual world. As our participants explored and interacted with the environment, they were quite amazed at the sense of realism the VR offers. It was fantastic. It was much clearer to look at it through the goggles than it was to look at it on the screen. Um, yeah, really impressive. Wasn't expecting that level of quality, like the um, image quality. I was really impressed. It looks got some potential, definitely. Yeah, I think uh, for people who aren't familiar with gear, and if you had to put them through, they may have to try at short notice, no previous experience or little previous experience. It might be a good familiarisation tool. There were no reports of dizziness, motion sickness, or nausea, as can be attributed to some of the older VR technology. The consensus was that it is a very realistic virtual world and a viable training environment with many useful applications now and in the future. It would be great for people to actually see what they're going to and have a practice without actually having to do it in real life first and it would be very useful from a safety perspective. I think it would give me a little bit more confidence um, than just going out and initially doing it in real life uh, to be able to see what I'm going to be faced with. Virtual training scenarios like this can be easily added to this platform based on other first gas training programs like valve servicing, filter checks and heater maintenance. And they provide an engaging, fun and cost effective way of exposing our people to what would normally be a high risk task. The new Slamshot valves would be a good example of the next virtual training scenario we could develop. Future projects and scenarios are limited only by the imagination and ideas of our people. Getting familiar with the site layout, as they're all different around the country, you can actually go and witness each site. You know, I haven't been to, there's about 350 or 300 sites. I'm guessing you can model all those, and I've only been to a few hundred, but it's very handy to go to each site. The augmented reality project was developed in parallel to the VR project and delivered at the same time. It consists of a safety hard hat with a built-in camera and a small display screen which transmits useful information to the workers without the need to use their hands. For example, this could be viewing as-built drawings, work order information or SOPs. Currently, this is simulated or static data built into the device memory, but for future use we could connect it to live business data from SCADA or other business databases. Additionally, it can stream video back to another team member or receive guidance from an expert. In its current state, the AR device provides a fast, hands-free interface to information and communications when needed out in the field. In the future, it will be a fully integrated system with live data, alerts and work order processing to help our field techs work safer and smarter.